I traded one of my favorite bags for this bag and I thought I was doing the right thing until I got it in. It's my own fault and that's what happens when you do something impulsively and you just don't put much thought into it. You end up making luxury mistakes like I have here today. Hey guys welcome or welcome back if you're new here my name is Melissa and I love handbags as you guys can see I came to a realization lately actually quite a few and that is that I need to stick to my color palette when it comes to bags just as much as my wardrobe I had a bag the YSL college bag which I think is absolutely stunning it was perfect for me. It fit all of my everyday essentials in there. It fit crossbody perfectly. I love the chunky chain in the back pocket. But the one downfall was that the color wasn't perfect for me. And I was finding that I had to create outfits around the bag rather than just pairing the bag with an outfit, meaning it didn't really go well with my wardrobe. So I made a very impulsive decision and I decided to let it go. I do plan on purchasing another one in white or a nice beige or something that goes with my wardrobe because I do love the style of that bag so much. But that is going to be a purchase for 2025 because 2024 I'm on a low buy and I don't want to go overboard and I don't want to buy a style that I've already owned in 2024 but I'm pretty dang certain that will be my first purchase of 2025 because I love the college bag style. So I reached out to a few friends. I posted it over on Instagram and over on YouTube and I shared that I was willing to trade the bag. The reason why I was willing to trade the bag is because I really didn't feel like I needed the money and I would just rather have a bag instead of the money, but I didn't want to sell the bag for let's say $900 or something small like that and then go out and purchase a new bag with that money, but still having to pay more money on top of that. So it just made sense to do a trade with a fellow YouTuber or Instagrammer that had a bag in their collection that they weren't wanting. That way, neither one of us were losing any money. I'm gonna have timestamps down below for you guys to see the bag, but I feel like it's really important to know the story behind it, and maybe it will all make sense to you guys how my jumbled up brain made this make sense. So my good friend Erin has lots of college bags and I asked her if she would be wanting to trade a college bag for a college bag in a different color because I really did want the college bag. And she said, you know what, I'm really happy with my collection right now, but I do have a friend that's interested in or that may be interested in a trade. So she got me involved with a couple of her friends. I talked to a few of them. Uh, two of them and they were willing to do a trade. One just fit my style a little bit better than the other. And I did talk to a couple other YouTubers about doing a trade. Ultimately, I decided that this Louis Vuitton bag in here would be the best option for me. Now it is a beautiful bag. The person that I traded with gave me lots of photos and everything. There's nothing wrong with the bag is what I'm trying to say. It's just simply that I didn't realize for whatever reason, how similar it is to one of my other bags. When I saw photos of the bag, I was worried about it being too similar to this other bag. It's not like I was just oblivious to the fact that it could be similar. It just was more similar than I expected. And I feel like these two bags I'd be using in the same exact way. And that is why I kind of was a little tiny bit disappointed and let down when I got the bag. It has nothing to do with the bag itself or the condition that it's in. It's my own fault. And that's what happens when you do something impulsively and you just don't put much thought into it. You end up making luxury mistakes like I have here today. Now, I don't want this video to be completely negative because the bag inside of this bag is absolutely stunning and I'm going to stop rambling now and I'm going to go ahead and share it with you guys. So the bag that I got is the Louis Vuitton Alma BB in the Rose Ballerine with the silver hardware and it is absolutely stunning. It's in the epi leather so it's very, very durable. I know I love the Alma style. That is, as I have the Alma right here. And that is why I decided to go ahead and go for it because I knew that I was going to love the style of the Alma. I already do. It's in this beautiful pink. It has silver hardware. It's very, very durable. It came with an organizer, but I put my own organizer in here because I think that mine was 
just a little bit prettier in my opinion sorry um and then it comes with a strap that is not adjustable and this is the organizer that i put inside of here so it's in perfect condition it looks absolutely stunning but i am torn on what to do and you guys let me know what your guys's thoughts are because it's very similar to another bag of mine and the bag that it's similar to is this little beauty right here this is my mulberry mini alexa it's a little heavy right now because i am using it and aren't they almost exactly the same you guys I was a little bit disappointed by that, but as I'm holding them and the structure of this one and how durable this one is, this one is a soft matte leather, so it's not quite as durable. I feel like they do have different looks, but they are very, very similar in color. Now you might be looking behind me and say, Melissa, you have a ton of green bags. What's the difference? The difference is pink isn't my favorite color and green is. So do I need two pink bags that are essentially the same size and the same exact color? I don't know. That seems a little bit excessive for me, for somebody who has a smaller collection and who likes to have a smaller collection. But you guys let me know, what would you do? I'm considering trading or giving away, not giving away, I'm considering trading or selling this bag and keeping this one because out of the two, I actually like my Mulberry more. It's just... I don't know I just like it I like these little tabs I like the extra little details I like the champagne gold hardware I like the braided top handle it's just a little bit more fun than this one here is but a concern of mine is this one is going to probably get dirty pretty fast because it is a matte leather I'm actually looking at it right now and I can see I've been wearing this bag and I can see a little bit of dirt on there so I'll probably go ahead and spray it with some carbon pro to protect it but I don't know guys what what, what 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 would you do would you move this one on or would you keep both because this one's probably going to get dirty pretty fast this one's extremely durable so i could use these this one when i'm wearing jeans i can wear this one when i'm wearing dresses i don't know my mind is torn i don't know what to do i'm not making a decision today i'm going to sit on it for a while but that is the bag that I got. I think it's absolutely stunning. I just wish it was a little bit different than this. I expected the pink to be different. That's why I went ahead and agreed to it. I thought that the pink would be quite a bit more muted, more neutral than this one. And it is a little bit more muted, but it's not entirely more muted. So that is the bag that I got. I am, I wish I could say I'm excited to use it. I just feel like maybe I rushed into the decision, but it is beautiful. It's in perfect condition. I couldn't have asked for a better conditioned bag and we'll see. We'll see what happens. If anybody's interested in this, go ahead and send me a DM on Instagram. I will be willing to sell it or even trade it if um, anybody wants it. But as for now, I'm just gonna sit on it. I'm gonna hang on to it. I'm gonna think about it and we'll decide what we're going to do and hopefully I've learned my lesson on making rash decisions.